Hello, in this video I'm going to unbox this. The Kings of War Abyssal Dwarf Mega Army. Okay, let's go. So I recently picked this up from Neverboard. Um, always been a big fan of the Chaos Dwarfs. They were on the first army, I could say, for War and Fancy Battles. So when I saw this, I just thought, yep, I've got you himself. Okay, let's open up and see what's inside. Nice box. Okay then, so we have... That's the orcs there, I do believe. Go to the camera. Yeah. How many things do you get? Have a look. You get 20 orcs. Okay. Ah, here we are. These are the new dwarfs. Well, abyssal dwarf sprues. You get 10 of them all. So it's two sprues per 10. Okay. So I've them up individually, which is weird. It's meant to be 40, so 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, they're all there. Let's just open one of these up. Sorry about the noise. There we are. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing that I really appreciate is they are no longer on the little discs, like the old Mantic stuff, as you can see there. Yeah. Also, the plastic, I don't know if it shows up on the camera that well, but it is a different type of plastic looks like it's, uh, it's a bit dark it looks like it holds detail a lot sharper also the spacing there's a lot of empty gaps on the old orc one here this one not as many gaps in between the model it looks like they've got like um things they call cad so a better design system there oh they've got the blunderbusses how i put in shield and what's this one here or how my pins more shields oh and some sort of dog. Oh, oh, two dogs actually. Oh, oh brilliant. <laughs> and oh, lots of heads. So sort of easy. Heads there. It's going to focus. Yeah. None of them seem to have the large helmets that we'd see with the old Chaos to Awesome Games Workshop, but still, these are very nice. The detail on them is quite sharp. Again, yeah, look very sort of chaotic slash abyssal. I do like the armor. Oh, that they are lovely. They are absolutely lovely. Oh, look at those blunderbusses. I am tempted to do just 40, focus 40 blunderbusses of these. <laughs> these shields here, these are very nice. Nice and big. Yeah, okay, they're, they're gorgeous. I can <laughs> wax lyrically about them. So we got the 40 of them. And we get the orcs there. And then what's in this one? This bag, so have a look. This might be the sorcerer or the, is it ta Taskmaster, I think? Yeah, let's have a look. Ah, yes. I'll do one at a time. So this is the, I think this is Taskmaster. Yeah, he's got his whip there and his choice of heads. There's two choice of heads there. Oh, choice of equipment. You can give him either a scythe or sort of poking prod, a whip or a standard bearer. I think I might go for a standard bearer when I put mine together. That's quite a nice model. Let's put him there for now. And this must be the sorcerer. It's nice seeing metal models. It takes me back to my youth. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a nice model. Do I the do I just come and show up where you want? There we are. Yeah. Bit of flash, that's no problem. Choice of weapons, you get a sword, or some sort of scepter, and oh choice of heads. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and that's very much like the old Chaos Dwarfs with these sort of beard in, in uh, tubes, I guess you'd call that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. And bases, obviously. 
I might use the wooden bases I get from um, the Sarasa. I think it's Sarasa Precision. MDF bases. I just, ah, they've actually provided some. Yeah. I just like the, the feel of the wooden bases as opposed to the plastic bases. But that's just a personal preference, really. And what's in this big bag? Okay, oh, interesting. I didn't know what material these were made out. I thought it would be the same as the, um, is it the golems? Iron golems, I think they're called, or lesser golems. If I can just bring out the bits. Yeah, do I look at these things? And they're going to be an absolute doddle to paint because, well, they're just big bits of stone, really. Painting grey with some sort of internal fire. Like lava, that would be quite nice. Oh, and they've got sort of push fits. Um, so, is that the... I think that's this one. I think it could have been... No, I think it might be... Oh, no, I was right the first time, yeah. Yeah, they're nice. Again, they do have the one issue of Mantic uh, big guys is... They tend to have, oh, I haven't picked it up here yet, um, very small legs. So these guys, I mean, <laughs> look at this, this is how small that leg is. For something that has a, a torso that size. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not a fan of is the legs. I think they're a bit too small, but that's, again, personal preference. If you like these sort of big legs and, sorry, sorry, small legs rather, and big bodies, then yeah, you'll like this look. It reminds me of the old Privacy Press War yeah. Machine and Horde's aesthetics. Because that's what they had. These guys, um, I'm not too sure about. <laughs> They're a bit a bit too weird, I think, for my liking. I'm not sure what material this is made out of. I'm not sure how they go together either. They seem... They might grow on me. I mean, I'm going to put them together, obviously, and... See what they like. But yeah, at first glimpse, it's just uh, things with like, what, five limbs or an odd, odd three limbs, anything with an odd number of limbs, just at first is a bit weird. But then again, I suppose that's what they're trying to go for. But the, the quality is fantastic. The You can see here's got some sort of internal runes. Yeah, that's really nice. Good sculpting that is then. Even the muscle muscle chair here, yeah, it's quite nice. And there's Yeah. That head reminds me of um Eddie from I Am Aiden. <laughs> yeah there. Very strange, we'll give them that. They're very unique, at least it's, it's nice that Mantic are going the wrong direction. They're breaking away from just being a, um, a cheap version of Games Workshop stuff. So they are eventually doing their own thing. Just same again. Oh, that's a, I think it's a different sculpt. Yeah, it's a different sculpt. Similar because obviously just spikes, chains and odd number of limbs. Nope, I've got some of the different leg in there. No focus. There we are. Okay, so I'll put some of these together and then we can have a look at them assembled. Okay. So I've just assembled one of each of the models in the army deal. I'll talk about each one individually. So first we'll start off the orcs. This is one of the oldest uh, model kits that Manti do. And I must say, they're actually a lot better in the flesh than they are in the photos. I'm quite surprised how the, the detail on these models. The one thing I don't like, however, is how there is a big gap between its feet and the base. That's why I had to go on the plastic bases as opposed to the wood bases that I wanted to do, because with the disc and the gap, it was just, <laughs> it looked like it was floating in midair. So yeah, that's the orc. Next we got... The dwarfs, the pistol dwarfs. I've gone for one, obviously, with the blunderbuss, because why not? Blunderbusses are great weapons in this system, and also in Age of Fantasy Regiments and uh, Warmer Fantasy Battles. I used to have, I think, 30 of these back in the day, but yeah, these are absolute gorgeous models. I'm really blown away by these. 
Uh, easy to put together as well. This is just a body, head, and an, two arms. The gun is part of the, the body. Uh, so part of the arm, rather, sorry. Yeah. Nice choice of heads. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the barrel. But very nice. Do like these. And there wasn't much detail to clean up. There's a bit of a mold line there I can see now. But I can just go over that with a file, get rid of that. That's not a problem. And then I did one with sword and board. I must say what I was interested to see with these, uh, focus area, with the sword and board, the shield, is the fact that you can't really see it here, but the arm is separate and just slots into this shield. It's like a little peg it goes in. It's really nice. And I just like the idea of this round shield and these sort of nice grotesque looking swords. But yeah, let's show there. Again, lovely details on these models. Mantic have come a long way with these. From the, I mean, I remember the original, I think it was the elves I did first. They were, oh, I still think they're horrible models, <laughs> personally. But these, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And on to the metal models. It's been a long time since I've put together a metal model, I must say. There was a lot of flash on this. I think there's still a bit there. I've shown to get off it from file. In the end, I went for the sword. The scepter wouldn't really fit in. There was too much disfiguration, I think, on the joint there. But yeah, that's nice. Nice and heft. Nice and hefty. But again, metal models, something that I'm glad we're kind of seeing the end of. A bit of a nuisance to put together. In the end, I went for a standard barrel. I was going to go for the, the whip instead of the, the scythe. But it's just, it, it would have come out to about here somewhere. It's quite long and prone to breakage because it's so spindly. So yeah, again, these are quite nice. I do like these. There was a hell of a lot of flash on them. And I think the standard might be actually kind of disformed a bit. So, so I might have to go for some green stuff to repair that. This side here looks a bit wrong compared to the other side. But okay, you can see. It's a nice flowing sort of back here. And there, yeah, you can see the mould line. There's going to be a lot of file involved in that. And onto these. I think this is um, Restic. These were a joy to put together. And oh, just look at them. They're gorgeous. And they're huge. <laughs> That's a beefy model. Yeah, very easy to put together. This was um, the leg, the sort of torso, leg, separate leg, body, head, and two arms. That was it. Nice, he's put together there. <clears throat> and there wasn't much flash on this or much needing to be cut back. So yeah, looking forward to painting this boy. Nice model. And these things, the, I think these are the grotesques. Yeah, it's sort of grown on me. I mean, it's, it's, it's weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> But yeah, it's looking forward to painting this actually because given the sort of weird nature of the the creature, you can play about skin tones. I'm thinking maybe some sort of purple. But yeah. You can play about with them. They're quite nice. Let's go to a pan shot so you can get an idea of the size of the models. As I say, I bought these from Neverboards, so I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you later.